Lisa Fry, the Catholic unschooler, homeschooler. I'm going to try to go around, but I'm in my car all around. Whoops, schooler. Hello, everyone. Woohoo. Where am I? Where are we going now? Well, I am at my friend Peter's mother's house. It's just like, oh my gosh. I love coming here because she is completely Italian. You can barely understand what she's saying. It's just so wonderful. Like, I, I'm Italian. I'm an American, but I am Italian. Uh, and I just love, my grandmother was from Italy, straight off the boat. I barely understood what she was saying. So I get their ways, I get everything. It's just so beautiful, so wonderful. I do not speak Italian, I wish I did. However, one day she was talking and I, she was talking to her Peter, her son. And I was just like, oh yeah. I found myself going, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I was like, oh my gosh, how did I just understand that? I don't understand everything at all. Mm -mm. But it's funny how, you know, so I am gonna go to the beach. Yes, it's getting very, very late in, we're in the fall now. So uh, before winter comes, I just need to go and exercise more. And I have to keep saying goodbye to the ocean because it's gonna be miserable without it all winter. So um, yes, and it's great. Go and uh, do something that you really love as long as it doesn't offend God. So that in case you have any anxiety or anything of the sort, you can just release it all to God and enjoy yourself. And um, and then I get to go meet Anna, who is Sarah's very good friend. Uh, she's a really all of our friend. She's 19 and um, yeah, I'll go spend some time together and that'll be it for the day. And um, I don't know, I feel a lot of anxiety, you know? A lot of anxiety and um, and so I have to go manage my anxiety is what I'm saying to you, okay? I love being here right now. I don't want to leave. <laughs> but he's just saying, come back. So I just might do that. Let's go. We are here and I found my favorite spot. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's go out there. Look at who I found. They're all taking a bath. How cute. These are my friends. They probably don't recognize me because I don't have my bright red shirt on. Although I do have a red shirt on. Hi, everybody. Oh my goodness, you guys are so cute. How fun. Look at how fun. Oh, it is cool. I should have taken a sweatshirt, but you know what? By the time you're done walking, you wish you didn't put it on. So we're just gonna have to grin and bear it. I have shorts on and my shoes and uh, let's go. All right, what time is it now? 11:30, so I am supposed to be done by now but I I had to see my friend and his mother oh my gosh I haven't seen Peter in weeks uh, hi everybody oh you guys are so cute look at how adorable oh. I wonder if they would like me to sing maybe I should maybe I should sing to them uh, hi everybody Tora Laura Laura Tora Laura Laura Tora Laura Laura Hush now don't you cry I wonder what they're doing. They're definitely look like they're eating something. I'm definitely not gonna be putting them to sleep today. Not these guys. These guys are rocking and rolling, they're busy doing whatever they're doing. Wow, there's a lot of them though. All right, Lisa, let's go, Sister Jane. There's a lot of rocks, so right now, right now we're gonna be wearing our shoes, our sandals. Oh, my hip, it's kind of stiff right now. Hi, everybody, what are you guys eating? What are you doing? Hi, honey, hello. Hello, gorgeous, it's okay. You don't have to worry about me at all. Okay, sweetheart. Oh. All right. So we're just moving our bodies, guys. All right? We're not running. We're not jogging. We're not doing marathons. We're not doing any of that. We're just enjoying ourselves, moving our body. You got to move it or lose it. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's a worship song that I absolutely love called Yeshua, which is Jesus. And I love it. I really wish that you guys will go on. I don't know how to add a description, but I hope you guys listen to it. It's about 20 minutes long. 
It's so awesome. They just repeat over and over and over the same, just Jesus' name. And it's so beautiful. She goes, My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. My beloved is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands. Yes, that forever and ever and ever and ever and I'm gonna go listen to it right now it's too exciting all right stay focused Lisa keep walking you guys better get along why do you look like that what are you doing honey what y'all doing you gotta be nice I see I see you're not being nice <laughs> they're so cute look you got the ducks Oh, I bet you anything. I don't know if you remember a number of videos back. There was like a ton of, do you remember? A ton of little duckies like all together. I bet you that's them all grown up. Oh yeah. Definitely. Look at, oh, that's so cute. Why do you look like that? You look like you're up to something. Ugh, yuck. I love seaweed when it's nice and green. It's so beautiful. But not this. I like the way it feels. My big love it is. The oh, look, it's them. Wow, look at all the seagulls. Where are they going? They just flew right over me. Wow, they're all taken off over there. Wow, look it, they're all flying together all in the same direction look way over there where are they going wow i've never seen this before not like this there must be a lot of fish over there i bet you anything oh yeah look at them all wow my big love it is the most beautiful among thousands and thousands, my beloved is. You see them over there? The mo oh wow! Now they're all going that way. Yes, you.
among thousands and thousands, my beloved is. Where did you guys go? Did you put on a show for me? Thank you. That was so pretty. That was so nice. I love it. They're all coming in for a landing. Maybe they made the announcement. Lisa's here. Lisa, the Catholic of school is here, everybody. And they gathered up everybody. Hi. Hi, honey. Yes, shoo. Once sat down. Yes, you. My be. Oh, a two sat down. My be lover is the most beautiful among the. Among thousands and thousands. Come on, everybody. Yes, you. Yes, you. me the other day and it's so true you know I don't know about you I don't know if you're a man watching this or a woman however I know for women anyway especially young women um, they just want to get married they want to they want to share their lives with somebody they want to take care of somebody they want somebody to help take care of them and that's how I feel too you know I did have that And it just dawned on me the other day. I'm like, wait a minute. I don't have to try to figure out where is he, right? I say this. I think God revealed this to me. It's like, I don't have to worry. I don't have to think about it. It's just like, whoever he is, which whoever is the one will want to marry me. There is no game. There is no trying. There is no nothing. He will ask me to marry him. Plain and simple. It's so easy. You know, like Mother Teresa said, if God wants something to happen, it's because he wants it to happen. And if he doesn't, it won't. It's that, it's, she goes, it's so simple. It's so true. We don't have to think about it. So don't concern yourself with, you know, oh, is she the one? Is he the one? Oh, I don't know. Is he? No. They will ask you. They will already be your husband. They will already be your wife. They're being prepared for you right now, you know? And you are being prepared for them right now. So you don't have to think about such things, you know? They will ask you. You will know. If you say you're the man and you ask the woman, the, um, the, the man, maybe you're the man, you will know to ask her. You will know. You will know that she is your wife. You know? And same thing with the woman. 
you will know because he will ask you to be his wife. I mean, how how much freedom is that? That's so much fun. It's like freedom. It's like woohoo. You know, you don't have to be worried and concerned. It's okay. Another thing is you might say, but I'm lonely. I'm sad. I just want somebody to love. And then you might even settle for somebody that you really don't want to be with. That is so cheating them and so cheating yourself. Don't do that. It is better. It is better to be alone, to get to learn how to be the best that you can be for yourself, mostly for God and for the person that he's preparing for you. You see what I mean? So you won't have to think like, is that him? Is that her? Is she the one? No, it, Jesus says that his burden is light. It will be easy. You won't have to, you won't have to figure it out. It just will be, you know what I mean? It'll be made easy. They will come towards you. They will pour into your life because they want to be there. You see what I mean? They want to be there. There won't be anything holding them back. They will want to be there. Get it? Keep your eyes. When you're feeling that way, in an uncomfortable way, anxiety, whatever it is, maybe you want to be loved, right? I want to be loved, okay? Um, but there, you can't love everybody, right, in that way. There's only one. Just one. Not two, not three, not four. One. So, you want the right one. When you have the right one, you're going to be like, oh, am I glad I waited? So, in the meantime, what you do is you keep your eyes on the kingdom of heaven. That's what the scripture says, right? It says, keep your eyes on the kingdom of heaven and all, everything else will be given unto you. You get it? So when you're feeling that way, get your mind off yourself, put it onto God and onto other people by giving. Give your time and then your, your mind will be off yourself. It's like if you have children, right? Maybe you don't have children, you don't know what I'm talking about. But when you have children, you have the children who want to honor you. Oh, this is cold. You have the children who want to honor you. They respect your wishes. They do what you say. They speak kindly to you. And then you have the other ones that are not so much like that. Well, don't you want to extra bless, right? Don't you want to extra bless those kids that are so waiting for your, like they trust you, right? Don't you want to give them the world? You want to surprise them. You want to give them gifts. You want to speak kind words to them. You want to give it. So that's like us with God. You want, he wants to bless you when you're putting your trust in him. It is not easy, but I'm just, just trying to remind you um, right now that keep your eyes on the kingdom of heaven. Put on some worship music, go sit in front of the tabernacle, go to confession, um, read some scripture, spend some time with God, go do a good deed. You know, just keep on wanting to do good. Even when you're not, maybe you're not, maybe you're stuck in sin, you know? Just keep going. Don't stop until you have achieved heaven. You know what I mean? And then your beloved will come. He will be here, she will be here. It just will happen because God wants it to happen. I was just thinking about what I was telling you guys. <laughs> I have the gift of tears, don't worry about it. Um, I was just sitting here or walking and thinking what I was just saying to you and how he'll just come. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. All of a sudden I could hear Steven's footsteps jogging behind me. And I would always like be jogging this beach. And I heard in this um, harder sand with the water and I'd look back. And it was him. that he pursued me I was like what he always it was like the stalking but it was wonderful <laughs> and he pursued me and that's what I'm saying to you guys out there is that 
your beloved will pursue you. You understand? You will not have to pursue them. And you're like, but wait a minute, if I'm the guy or if I'm this or that or whatever the situation, it will just come so naturally because what, what, what it is is the man pursues and the woman pursues by receiving, you see? By receiving, don't be a pain in the neck. But what I'm saying is the woman pursues by answering the call of the man, right? So when he was running after me and I turned around, it was like I accepted him with open arms. What are you doing here? And I was happy to see him. And I would hug him and kiss him and I would just be in my glory. Oh, this big gorgeous hunk of flesh. And it makes me so incredibly in amazement that he is not here with me. Everybody that sees this picture, they're like, wow, he was a big guy, huh? And I'm like, yeah. I was like, wow, to be smothered in that awesomeness largeness and oh and then to be empty it's like wow even the guy that the the one that did his body you know for the coffin even he said um he was a big boy i know i know and so to not have him here like that is so intensely amazing like, I just can't even believe it. Like, I don't want to undermine God's ways. You know, God knows better than me. So I can't say it's terrible. Not terrible bad, but terrible like, wow. Like, wow. <laughs> this is so empty. It's so... There aren't really words to express. If you've lost your beloved, you know what I'm talking about. And wow, it's just insane. But it's not insane. It just feels like it's insane on my end. You know? I miss. I hear it. And I look. And there he is, man. He's running after me. He's running for me. I'm looking around. I'm like, wait a minute. Is there somebody else here that he's here to see? No. He is running to me to me he wants me he chose me out of all the women on the planet earth he chose me like wow he chose me to get up every day and to give up his life and to go work for us he chose me to birth his children. He chose me. That blows my stinking brain. It does. Because not every man wants you. Not every man wants to die for you. Not every man is willing to give you his life. Full on. So when you find that love, oh man, you better treasure it. I'm telling you, if you have a spouse right now, you better treasure them. If they're being good to you, and, and even if they're not being good to you, they're just there. They're still there. Believe me, I had my troubles with Stephen. Oh yeah. We had we had our crosses to bear, okay? Throughout our marriage. But he apologized a month before he died. We didn't know he was gonna die, but God prepared our hearts 
and to say, I'm sorry, Lisa, that I treated you this way. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was so ready to receive that. I was like, oh my gosh, like I love you. I love you, because he couldn't stop crying. He was crying like really hard where he was talking and crying and I was like, I didn't understand what he was saying. I'm like, I, I didn't understand. So all I could say was, is, oh my gosh, I said, I love you. I love you, it's okay. It's okay, I love you. And then when he finally calmed down, he says, I, I, we, we don't, he goes, I'm so sorry. I don't treat you right. We don't treat you right in this house. And I'm like, oh my gosh, it was the most beautiful thing in the world because I had prayed for him to do that for 10 years, okay? Yes, for 10 years, because he was going through something because I returned home to the Catholic Church and he didn't. So there was some strife there, you know? But yeah, my beloved, they will run to you. They will run. All right, I found some more seagulls. They were over here and then they ran over there and they started to sit as I was singing. So I think these guys are my people because anytime I sing to them, it's usually over here towards the end of the beach. Um, the ones that I do put to sleep. But there's a man walking past me and I'm going to wait because I don't want to let him know how crazy the Catholic unschooler can be. See, they're getting ready. They're getting ready to sit down. Oh yeah. I look up at the sky and look at what I see. Does it get any more obvious than that? Are you kidding me? Look. <laughs> look. I turn around. I look up at the sky to worship God. And look. Look. Wow. Wow. It's not even over to the right or to the left. It's like right smack straight ahead. Like what? I love you. I love you. I love you. Did you see that? You did see that, right? I am not kidding. Whoa. As somebody once said, wow, wow, wow. That's all I'm going to say. Right. Anyway, yes. All right. This is the wall. Now, I don't have to come all the way over here to be at the end of the beach, but I am going to touch it so I can officially do it. Hey, look, a heart. <laughs> all right. We're waiting for Anna. She's on her way. So that took me an hour and a half because I would stop, I was strolling. It's wonderful, you know? Peaceful, clear your mind, 